This is uh, where my raspberries are. And uh, they look real pathetic during the, during the spring. I don't have a lot of them in here. Everything is frozen I'm stepping in. The, uh, the, the, uh, the leaves are deep. They'll, they'll go down. And then I got all of these. Oh, hold on. Let me get my strawberries out of this. Okay, there we go. They were stuck under the leaves. I don't want them there. That's a tree there. That needs to be. It's an apple tree. That's a guarantee. That's a honey crisp. And this is a Fuji. That's a Fuji here. Frozen. Let me pull up. Yep. This here is a Granny Smith. Definitely looking better since I gave it some. Um, I gave it some Epsom salts, and it's budding up real nice. It's, it's got buds ready, ready to break for spring. It's looking, it's looking good now. And all it was was Epsom salts. Isn't that something? My box with my onions, and to the right is my strawberries. Um, I think I'm doing everything right in this area. I, I should cover them with leaves. When I get my next batch, they're gonna be covered um, just to make certain that they stay warm. Um, this rained about two days ago and the soil is really moist. So they got a nice drink. Um, the garlic is really on time. This one here especially has some garlic in it. This has garlic and onions, this box here. And I'm looking forward to uh, really feeding these up. I'm going to use a combination of Epsom salts um, and I'm going to use uh, compost tea in this box once the spring comes on. Um, it's going to be uh, this year I'm doing what a, an opposite of what I usually do. I usually feed and feed and then skip, 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 feed, feed, skip. I'm not doing that this year. I'm going to feed them on a weekly basis. Uh, a very mild uh, food that will go into this tree, trees like this here. Uh, this is a cherry tree. This is one I'm going to graft uh, uh, on my um, my cherry, which is going to be uh, the Stella. It's going to be grafted onto this Bing. Oh, excuse me. This is a tortellini. Um, they look alike when they don't, when they don't have the leaves on. Over here is my Bings, and that's a Bing. That's a beautiful tree. That's absolutely a beautiful tree. Uh, but I'm gonna graft that onto, I think I'm gonna graft it onto the bangs um, so that uh, I can have genetics in my yard in more than one place. Cause it would really be a bad thing if, uh, if I lost uh, my plants due to the weather or disease or insects. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, these are, uh, strawberries here. I'm thinking, and cons uh, should I cover them up with wood chips? Would that kill them? Would it not? But I think if I covered them up, the only ones would come back up would be absolutely the strongest ones would come up. So I might, I might do that. Put a, a layer of uh, wood chips. Oh, they're frozen. <laughs> so I won't be doing that today. So everything's frozen in the yard. And so you see a piece of ice there that fell inside of this uh, area. So if all this is going on, this is ice. Why is it that this tree has not dropped its leaves yet? I mean, it's a stubborn tree. It has not dropped its leaves. Let me look over here. You got the pear tree. It hasn't dropped its leaves. And um, I'm over here looking at my, my second this is a really good sized garden. This is the biggest garden I've ever owned. Uh, I don't need any more than this unless I'm going to start a farm. And the key this year is going to be feeding, feeding, feeding. About well, very mild um, compost tea. Uh, I'm not buying any more of those, um, those any man made stuff over the counter. I'm not buying any seaweed, I'm not buying any uh, bones, meal, or blood meal. I don't want none of that in my garden. We 
because it's cattle and animals that they're killing. And you put them in your garden, you don't know what kind of pharmaceuticals they use on them or anything. And I don't want to eat off of that. I just want to know that it came from these wood chips, these leaves, and those worm castings over there in the corner. That's what I want them to come from. And uh, that's what that's my goal.